Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out Presence's Dark Awakening. Guys, there is a disclaimer in the beginning of this video. Um, anyone with epilepsy or has any problems, or if you're not aware of having any problems, I highly advise you do not watch this video because it has a lot of lighting effects in it. Please guys, there is a disclaimer in the beginning. But anyways, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Very nice atmosphere. Maybe we're the bad person. Very nice. We can interact. Um, there we go. Oh, I do like the effect that they added where you're not running, like full-fledged running. You just walk a little quicker. That's pretty good. This property will be demolished as ordered by the Department of Inspections and License. Public notice pending demolition. You guys can pause and read that whole entire thing, but you get it. You get the idea. Go ahead and knock that down. Take a look around in here. Looks like a pair of headphones or um, ear protection that you wear when you're working with machinery for construction. It, I don't know how dark it is for you guys on your end, but for me, it's pretty hard to see in here. That made me jump. We got a piece of paper here. Missing Fisher investigation. All right, I can't late last fall an avid fishing local law enforcer You get it. I can't read the entire thing All right, can we go in here no can definitely take a look in there. It is extremely dark All right, we're gonna keep looking on the bottom floor before we progress upstairs what do we have in here? Anything? We have another letter here. The College Cleanup Crew to the Department of Land Use and Development. We are done here. Another crew can clean up this place. My team doesn't feel comfortable with the job, and I'm not going to be responsible for another injury. The majority of the areas have been boarded up. A real professional crew needs to demolish this place. A bunch of teenagers on their spring break won't do. Sincerely, the college cleanup crew. Okay, so that's pretty unique. Look at that. It looks like a tornado. So basically, they sent a bunch of college students here after, after college was over and they were on their break. They sent them here to clean up this place. Go ahead and check this out. That rocking chair is moving just the wind outside as long as I hope it's just the wind outside the wind and everything blowing in here as you can see <laughs> wow nature has really taken over this place it looks like we cannot go upstairs right now have another letter here dear boss you have been a good friend to us and we are very appreciative of your company and the work you have provided for us when we are not in school however 
This latest job has been troubling for us all. Too many of us have been injured and experienced some uncomfortable moments. This is coming from all of us, and the experience isn't isolated to one individual. Below, we collectively signed a petition to stop working on this specific job site. We do not want to quit, but do not feel comfortable or safe in the current work environment, the crew. So it seems no one wants to work here, and I don't blame them. I didn't jump. I should have. But I froze. I'm absolutely paranoid. I should have never found this place. Now that a presence here will not let me leave, I choose not to leave. It is time for me to rest. A, less, a long rest is all I need.
I've decided to stay. Something draws me to this place. I can't seem to leave. Nothing will... Food and water. I have no need. No one is coming. No one is coming. No one is coming. I've been having this reoccurring dream. The dream began after I started spending more time researching these buried secrets. In the dream, I find myself looking at a giant pyramidal structure surrounded by an otherworldly landscape. I'm still not sure why I'm having these visions or hallucinations. It must have something to do with my discoveries underground. This both excites me, but it terrifies me. Maybe it is the stress of moving and unpacking. I'll know more in time. What I really need to do is find a place 
to organize and store all my personal letters. Jasper. Move the washer and dryer out of the basement as soon as possible. This small space is too far away from everything furthermore. The water connection is not functioning properly and my clothes never seem to get clean. Jasper. Sorry for the weird cut, guys. Someone was knocking at the door. While watching television, my show was suddenly interrupted. Static filled the screen and odd imagery, architectural in nature, appeared for a brief moment. Painting what I saw to find clarity, it looks to be a column, an arch very similar to the architecture I have encountered underground. Could this be a place I have yet to explore? Very nice setup.
this reclaimed wood while needing some extra sanding and exterior coating. I'm not going to read everything, but you guys are more than welcome to pause the video to read it. That chair was being awfully friendly. The excavating continues to go well, and it reminds me of my time in Egypt. This is the most exciting discovery of my career. The architecture is difficult to date, but I should have a theory in time. I've created a secret entrance for entering the excavated space and have decided to keep my discovery out of public view until I know where about what I have uncovered? Seems like this guy has something very serious hiding in the basement. Ever since I began to explore, Underground, my dreams have become nightmares. A reoccurring image of a skull haunts me. Sometimes, hiding in the dark corners of my house, I even see a skeletal figure watching me. I feel paralyzed by its presence. I must figure out why this is happening. I believe it has a lot to do with my findings down in this ancient place. I must be close to a new discovery. <clears throat> These ritual platforms serve a purpose I have yet to understand. 
They can be found scattered in various rooms across the underground. Strange whispers follow me down here. I am getting closer to finding the location of these markers. As I do, the more troubling my dreams get. I see the image of a spherical entity. The energy associated with this presence is negative. It may be my imagination, but it feels so real to me. I have never seen or researched anything resembling it. My guess is the entity formed from the collective negative energy of the souls trapped underground. It is attempting to communicate with me.
Looks like an old naval hat. That should have scared me, but it didn't. These presents I am feeling and seeing need me to help them. I believe they want me to find and activate these markers. They exist somewhere underground. I have yet to find them or fully understand what activating them will achieve. I've been crafting physical letters of late. They feel grounded in reality and it is nice to have a paper trail in case anything happens to me. With all the strange occurrences taking place, these notes comfort me. It also gives me a chance to practice my painting skills and take time to process what is happening around me. Jasper. My findings are fascinating. Ages ago, a small community of settlers discovered this underground place of worship. They stayed and found ancient relics or markers. One of the notes I found described these markers as having otherworldly power. It is odd that there is no record of a settlement. It is as if they suddenly disappeared without a trace. I must be cautious. I do not know what these markers are capable of. It would explain why so many strange things have been occurring around this area. A large amount of underground. A large amount. Un, 
a large amount of the underground is not accessible. With some major funding, the entire place could be exca excavated. For now, we will continue on my own. For now, I will continue on my own. I must find the markers and uncover what other secrets await. My secret entrance in the basement is where most of my research takes place. However, another exists. Hiking through the forest in the back of the house, I came across a beautiful stream. Upon further investigation, I found a small hidden cave. Exploring further, I discovered more ancient tunnels. A vast network of them interconnect underground. I am certain more entrances exist that I have yet to discover. A 
It is apparent now that I need to leave this place and never return. I am unwell. I feel negative and aggressive presences all around me. My studies cannot continue for my own safety. I plan to burn the house down. I hope that this ancient underground place will stay hidden and never be found. I have started to pack and prepare. However, I may just have to go.
You must be wondering where here is. You are currently stuck at a point in time between the late world and what comes next. We need your help as much as you need us, but we don't have much time. Part of you is still in the real world and hasn't crossed over. In time, you will be trapped. You see, a long time ago, our society came across an underground place of worship. Then we found ancient miracles that could open a connection between the world of the living and the world of Activating them was easy, but at the expense of our lives. Since then, we have been trapped in between worlds, unable to move on. By activating the markers, the gateway will close, and any spirits that have been trapped here over the years will be released. The gateway only requires souls to open, so you'll be safe activating the markers to close the connection. You must be cautious. The negative energy from our collective life force has formed an entity of its own. Its power is growing. It has begun to manipulate the markers for its own desires. It may have something to do with you being here. We will find a way to bring you back to the world of the living. Help us, and we will help you.
We're at the one hour mark, guys. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you would like to see part two, you know what to do. If you made it this far, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you may see more of my content when I release it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Present Stark Awakening. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, guys, have a good day and take it easy.